Okay, so you can see I, I took this plate and I pinned it in here with that big piece of aluminum tubing and a solid piece of steel through the inside of that. We've taken and, and we've welded the butt end of the cylinder to this plate in three little spots. They're only about an inch long. And you can see where I machined these rings in here to show you that where dead center is so you never miss dead center. On the other end of the cylinder we've marked it at where it's at right now and that's where we're going to put it back to. You can see my three jaws one on the bottom it comes up into the comes up into the head gland there's a little better shot of it you can see where it's holding the head gland on each side and then the third one on the bottom is just good insurance I've also taken this table and I've sucked this table forward to hold these tools tight into this gland so there's no chance of them turning or stripping or falling apart so now what we're going to do is we're going to fire the thing up and we're going to spin the barrel and we're going to get that head gland about two rounds loose or so. We'll put that's in case we get a little oil here. We'll get that head gland spun loose and then we'll get ready to put the rod in it and drag the rod out of it. So we get the skid loader fired up here and, and uh, say hi to the guy sitting in the seat there. Yeah. <laughs> Always got the parking brake on so that we don't uh, we don't have an accident. So now we got hydraulic oil flowing through the machine, and we're gonna start turning this barrel with this lever right here. We're gonna start rolling this barrel real easy to get it started. Just make sure we don't have anything happen to us. And there you see it turning the barrel. We'll turn this head gland off about two rounds or so, and by then it'll be nice and easy. We can turn it by hand. So you can see it down here, turning the barrel. There's one round right there. We'll go two rounds and that ought to be good. Uh, here she's coming up on two rounds right now. So there's two rounds. Yep. We'll take and we'll back it off let this head gland we'll get the jack underneath of it to hold the barrel we'll get this head gland we'll pull these tools off and then we'll get ready to pull the rod out and then we'll go from there
I can tell you right now, it doesn't look too good. We might be, uh, we might be in the junk category, and I'll show you why. You see the, this is a relief, so that when that cylinder gets all the way down, it pushes on that little shuttle valve, and it squeezes that oil through there, so that when it gets to the end of its travel, it slows it down. You can see how scarred up this is right here. It's got metal on the piston it's got metal everywhere so we'll get down inside of this cylinder barrel and we're going to see what we got but uh, right now it's not looking very good so anyhow just to show you what you got not too good just because they're leaking you know and you can look at the packing on this thing when you look at the very end of it and you'll see where the wiper has deteriorated and is completely gone. You know, cylinders get age on them just like all of us. And the next thing you know, you got a pile of junk. But uh, we can get down the inside of that barrel with a real bright light in the rag. And we'll clean it all up and we'll see what we got. And then we'll go from there. Whether we can put her back together and get some more life out of it or not, we'll find out. So now that we've got our rod turned around, we pin our rod into this end. Two and thirteen sixteen socket, an inch and a half adapter, and that inch and a half plate on the end. We'll slide the collar down on top of it. Or if it's 
So we've taken apart the head gland to show you what's in the head gland. And then the first groove is a bearing. And the next groove is a two-piece piston seal. So you've got your regular piston seal and, and your little seal that goes on top. And the third groove is a U-cup. So you'll see the bottom of it's open and the top of it's flat. So when the pressure on the cylinder comes up, it hits this little opening and it forces that U-cup down around the rod and out against the head gland to seal it up. That's the most important piece is the U-cup. Then in the very top groove up here we have a wiper. You can see how deteriorated this wiper is. And I'm going to show you a little tool that, that I built that really makes it easy to get that wiper out. If you look at it, you'll see where I've ground an old chisel that was broken. Grind it all to one side. So that on this edge, you just got a very sharp little edge. So when you get down in that head gland and you start tapping on that, it'll try to fold that to the inside. And when it gets it folded to the inside, then you can actually get in there and get it out without damaging without damaging this bore that it sits in. The other thing you want to do is when you put your new one in, I always put red Loctite, clean it up really good and clean, put red Loctite on this outside edge when you put it down in there, make sure you bottom it out so that that wiper doesn't come loose and go sliding up your rod. The last groove is the head gland seal. They use an O-ring, and then they use a backup ring. And this one here, I don't know what happened to this backup ring, but that's all that's left of it. So the backup ring goes on the bottom, and the O-ring goes on the top. The backup ring raises the pressure of an O-ring by 1,000 PSI. Something. So you can see the groove it sits in is right here. Then next we have our piston, which is no good, and you'll see how bad it's scarred. So here's the bearing on the piston, and you'll see where the metal has gotten impregnated into that, that bearing. And it's just, you know, once it gets started, it just continuously gets worse and worse and worse and eats itself up. Then you have the, the piston seal, which is the two-piece. And these I like because they're split. And it's got an O-ring that goes underneath of it that keeps it swelled out. So it's always on the outside of the bore, keeping it sealed up. But if you look right here, you'll see where oil pressure has gotten around it and started chewing the rubber off of that seal. You see where it's all chewed off of there. But these are nice that are split in two pieces. Sometimes they come as one piece. And when they come as one piece, they're a booger. So what you have to do is you have to soak them. What I do is I soak them in hot water and get them really, really hot and pliable. Put your expander in first and wrap it in that groove and get it on there. And then once that thing's really hot, start working it around that piston ever so slowly until you can get one side started in. And once you get one side started in, just keep working until you get it around that piston. Then when I get it around the piston, what I like to do is I like to take a, a nylon tie strap and go around that and start tightening that tie strap up as it's cooling off and get it shrunk back into its original position again. So several different kinds, but the kind that are split like this or actually there's another one that's that kind of unfolds without actually being split in half it kind of unfolds to help you get it around the piston they really work well so this is what we've got and now the only thing we're doing is we're going to wait and we're going to see whether or not that the parts the reman parts are cheaper than buying a cylinder or what before we before we get into that so 